Ancestral gifts are altars in a family uh, that summon spirits. Anytime Satan wants to work in a family, he will erect a gate. An altar is basically that which houses a covenant, that which protects a covenant, that which is covenanted to. That's an altar. You know, because I think there's a confusion between altars and covenants. People don't understand what is an altar, a covenant. What is, no, uh, uh, you cannot get, you cannot find a covenant that is not housed by an altar, because an altar is a place of meeting, is a place of slaughter, is a place of sacrifice. It is a gate, and there is no altar or sacrifice without covenant. So that's why you can't separate altar from covenant or covenant from altar. So an ancestral gate is an altar, a place of covenant and sacrifices that summon spirits in a particular family. Every family has a gate. And every gate has a gate man. And this gate man is what we call the strong man. What do you find in ancestral gates? What is the purpose of ancestral gates? Number one is what I've told you. Its work is to summon spirits. Its work is to summon spirits in a particular family. Its work is to summon spirits in a particular family. And let me be honest with you. And this statement has been coming to my heart for some time. And I, it's a very heavy statement, but I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Until you understand how to communicate with spirits, success will be far-fetched. You must know how to communicate with spirits because God is a spirit. You must understand how to talk to spirits. There's nothing wrong with talking to spirits. There's something wrong talking to negative spirits. So when you say talking to spirits, don't say, ah, yeah, it's a God is a spirit. Is he not a spirit? Yeah. So you see, the challenge is we are, we are full of formulas, but we don't look at results. Let's pray. Are you talking to any spirit at that time? You must know how to communicate to spirits if you are to enjoy success in life. That's why you must know how to pray. Because if you don't know how to pray, then you don't know how to communicate to spirits. That means life will cheat you again and again. So let's continue. An ancestral gate is a place of summoning of spirits. Every family has a gate. And its purpose number one is to summon spirits. An ancestral gate is a place of summoning of spirit. Two is a place of covenant. Covenants in a family are formed at the gate. There is no ancestral gate that stands alone. The strength of any ancestral gate is the covenant it is standing on. Covenant that it is standing on. It is the covenant that is standing on. Three, gates are formed consciously or unconsciously. There are things that people do in a family that is forming a gate, but they don't know. And there are those who form gates consciously. For every gate has a gate man. That gate man is what we call a strong man in the family. A strong man basically means a principality, a power, one that controls other spirits. I'll be honest with you. No spirit runs on its own. Every spirit is under a command. Satan runs a military system where they, they, are, 
their heads and heads of heads and heads of heads of heads. It's very organized. Yeah. So every gate has a gate man. And the gate man is the spirit in charge. Are we together? Number six. Every gate, every ancestral gate has patterns. Every ancestral gate has patterns. Has rules and regulations that the family must follow. Has patterns, has rules, and has regulations that spirits are summoned to ensure every member of the family follows. There is no gate without a pattern. There is no gate without rules. There is no gate without regulations. That's why when somebody in the family tries to go against the pattern of the rules, of the regulations of that family, battle starts. Battles, for example, if you're coming from a family where the gate man is assigned to ensure that no one goes to church in this family, and then divinely you stray in church and you get born again, the battles you will face will be more than the ones your siblings are facing. Yes. Because you have violated a regulation, a rule, a pattern in the family. Do you know there are people that as long as they have three women in their lives, they will be at peace. The moment they try to keep one woman, battle rises. Why? It's not in the pattern of the ancestral gate. There are people whose wealth is pegged on the number of women they have. They, they don't know it, but you, the day they try to reduce girlfriends, money reduces. The, 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 the year they say, ah, me, I want to live holy, I don't want this thing, I want to get born again, what not, what not, I just, ah! The poverty, the doors that will lock will be, you like, I, I thought the more you live right, the more you'll be blessed. But according to the pattern of that family, everyone must have extramarital affairs. That's how you keep the wealth. There are families when you stop drinking, you get sick. A spirit will show sickness. What do you mean you don't drink? In this family, every man must drink. I know even of cases whereby father is drinking with, with son. Son who is in class 8. Son from 2. Son, campus, year four, year two, year whatever. The, the, you're drinking with your father. And it's okay. In fact, the drinking is taking place at home. And no one is questioning you. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You've seen such families. And the more they drink, the more they get business. I want to help you understand spiritual things. It's not, that's why you ask, oh, come, I know them. They don't even tithe. They don't, yet, yet they increase. The, they must increase. Because that is the pattern in that family. If they stop. You see, don't forget, Satan's assignment is to propagate wickedness. If he can keep you rich, but out of God, he has succeeded. He told Jesus, I will give you all this if you bow down. I will give you if you bow down. Satan is not foolish. The greatest possession on earth is your soul. Not your car. Not your degree. If he can steal your soul by giving you wealth, he has succeeded. So every ancestral gate has rules. Has regulations. Has patterns. And once somebody in that family violates that pattern, Spirits are released.